hello everyone welcome back to keto blogging and in this video i will show you how you can add an empty cart button to your woocommerce website so if you are running an woocommerce website and you want to improve your user experience then you can add a simple empty cart button to your wordpress website and this will allow users to clear your cart with a single click so let me just show you how it works so here i have a woocommerce website and i want to add some product to my cart so let me quickly add some products to the, my cart here so let me add four product to my cart let's go to the cart page and here as you can see i have a list of items added to my cart and if i want to increase the quantity i can do that so let me increase the quantity and let's hit update cart but here you notice that there is an empty cart button showing off here by default this doesn't show in woocommerce so we have to add this button in our website so if i click on this button it will remove all the items with a single click before that we have to individually remove all the items but we can add a simple empty cart button in our woocommerce website and improve the user experience so let me just show you let me go to an another website here so let's go to the shop page here and let me add some item to my cart so let me add this product here so let me add few products to my cart now let's click on cart here so let's go to the cart page and here as you can see that there is no empty cart button showing up here so for this we need to add a code snippet to our wordpress website so for this i will go to dashboard here and here either you can use this code snippet directly in your function.php file so let's go to appearance and here you can see an option theme file editor just click on here and let click on i understand and here you will find an option function.php here it is theme function function.php and here you need to paste a code like this so let me go to this website and i have written a complete blog post regarding this so all you have to do is copy this php code snippet so let me highlight it and let me copy it and i can paste it here and let's click on update now let's go to the same cart page and let me refresh this page and as you can see that we have the empty cart button showing up here so you can click on here and you can remove all the items from the cart or instead of directly pasting it to your theme function.php file you can use a code manager plugin as well so let me remove this so let me cut it from here let me update it let me go to the plugins and i will click on add new and here i will search for a plugin wp code or you can search for code snippets so you can use any code manager plugin that allow us to add php code snippet so as you can see that i have already installed this so let me quickly update it all right after you install this plugin wp code all you have to do is just go to the code snippet and click on code snippets here and here you need to click on add new so let me click on here and i will click on add your custom code snippet so let me click on here now here you need to paste that code and here make sure to change the code type to php snippet and make it active and you can set a title so that remember what this code is for so i can add like empty cart button like this and let me click on save snippets now let's go to the cart let me add some products so let's click on add to cart let's click on view cart here and as you can see the same empty cart button is showing off here so instead of directly pasting it to your theme function.php file you can directly add it in a code manager plugin so this allow you to add more options like whether you want to show it in all devices or for desktop or mobile devices or you can use conditional logic and you can add click on here and here you can set pages here and you can click on post type and you can select products like this or you can so for e-commerce and click on woocommerce cart so this is a pro feature so if you have pro feature then you have this option to load it in a particular page 
so here you can see we have a lot of options and you can also paste the page url so that this code will only load on the particular page so we have different options to load so this is the benefit of adding a code manager plugin in your wordpress website so if you don't want to add a code manager plugin then you can also install a plugin to activate the empty card button so for this i have developed a plugin so let me go to the plugins here and let me deactivate the plugin or let me disable the code snippet so i will disable it so that this code will not load in our website so let's go to the plugin and i will click on add new plugin and let's click on upload plugin and here we need to download a plugin so here let me scroll down and let me download this empty cart plugin now let's upload that plugin and let's click on install now and let me activate this plugin and as you can see that we have this woocommerce empty cart button and it is designed by t2 blogging so now we have added this plugin now let's go to the cart page and let me refresh this and as you can see that the same empty cart button is showing off here and we can also further customize it so let's go to the woocommerce let's click on settings and let's click on products and here you have this option to change the button text so instead of empty cart let me type like clear cart or something like that let's click on save changes let's go to the cart page and let me refresh it and as you can see that instead of empty cart we have the clear cart so we can customize it by using this plugin or we can directly customize it in function.php file as well so here let me scroll off a little bit and here we have this option empty cart so you can change that to clear cart as well all right now you have to understand how to add an empty cart button to your woocommerce website so either you can use code snippet or you can use a plugin to do that and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and for more videos like this make sure to hit subscribe button as well and i will see you in the next one bye bye